Welcome to the Streams in the Desert series. Today, we are happy to have you joining us for devotional number 31. Today's focus will be on 1 Kings 19 verse 12. And after the earthquake, a fire, and after the fire, a sound of gentle stillness. A soul who made rapid progress in her understanding of the Lord was once asked the secret of her easy advancement. She replied tersely, mind the checks. And the reason that many of us do not know and better understand him is we do not give heed to this gentle check. His delicate restraints and constraints his still small voice a still voice can hardly be heard it must be felt a steady gentle pressure upon the heart and mind like the touch of a morning zephyr to your face a small voice quietly almost timidly spoken in your heart but if he did growing noiselessly clearer to your inner ear. His voice is for the ear of love, and love is intent upon hearing even faintest whispers. There comes a time also when love ceases to speak, if not responded to or believed in. He is love, and if you would know him and his voice, give constant ear to his gentle touches in conversation when about to utter some word give heed to that gentle voice mind the check and refrain from speech when about to pursue some course that seems all clear and bright and there comes quietly to your spirit a suggestion that has in it the force almost of a conviction. Give heed. Even if changed plan seems a highest folly from standpoint of human wisdom. Learn also to wait on God for the unfolding of his will. Let God form your plans about everything in your heart and mind, and then let him execute. Do not possess any wisdom of your own, for many times his execution will seem so contradictory to the plan he gave. He will seem to work against himself. Simply listen, obey and trust God, even when it seems highest folly to do so. He will in the end make all things work together. But so many times in the first appearance of the outworking of his plans, in his own world, he is content to play a losing game. So if you would know his voice, never consider results or possible effects. Obey, even when he asks you to move in the dark. He himself will be gloriously light in you. And there will spring rapidly in your heart an acquaintanceship and a fellowship with God, which will be overpowering in itself to hold you and him together. Even in severest testings and under most terrible pressures. This was devotional number 31 in the Streams in the Desert series. It was our pleasure to have you, and we do look forward to having you for devotional number 32. It is also our sincere hope that you have a most blessed and productive day. <music>